Today I'm taking a look at the Bionic Zoom, which is an as seen on TV 8X magnification scope. It's been advertised online and can be found in stores. I also wanted to compare it to a generic Amazon version with similar features, similar price. So let's see how these stack up in today's video. Before I get started, let's flash back to the unboxings and see how they went. All right, let's take a look at the Bionic Zoom here. I paid 30 bucks for this at a local Walmart. The claims are that it's an 8X telescope that can fit in your pocket. They say you can spot objects up to 50 miles away. Just turn the wheel to focus. They say it has a detachable carry strap, rugged water resistant housing, includes protective pouch, cleaning cloth, and instruction manual. Right, the instructions are pretty minimal. It just says look through there and then use the middle finger to focus until clear. That's the entire instructions. It's where the color, it looks like it's maybe some sort of like a child's toy from Burger King or something. We got a cloth here. All right, so uh, I did find a listing on Amazon for this. Not a lot of pros and cons, but some people say it's portable, convenient, and great for bird watching. The few cons I saw in there, some people said it's not very powerful, while others said that the IPs kept popping off. All right, here's my rather generic monocular telescope. They say it's high quality. Very generic packaging. Uh, let's crack it open. We got some instructions. That's good. Looks like a cloth. That's good. A mini tripod. A few other odds and ends here. I'll leave them in the box. The claims are this an 80 by 100 HD magnification monocular telescope. Ideal for sports, scenery, wildlife, travel, and more. Includes a tripod, phone holder, lens cover, strap, bag, cloth, and manual. Now people on Amazon who liked this, a lot of people said it had a powerful magnification, easy to use, compact. Those who didn't like it, some people said the magnification is not very good, while others said it was cheaply made. So both of these are supposed to be good for bird watching, and fortunately there's a place nearby that's perfect for that. I wanted to try not just looking through them and giving my observations, but also filming through them, because the Amazon version has an adapter where you can supposedly use your phone to film through those. That'll also give me a chance to show you what I'm seeing through these. So let's flash back to my afternoon of bird watching and see how that went. So these are supposed to be good for bird watching, so I thought the best place to go would be a bird watching preserve here in Henderson, Nevada. So let's hit a good perch where I can get a good view and try these out and see which one I think is the best. Let's check it out. All right, I've got a, I got a pretty good perch where I got a nice vantage point of everything from over here, so I'm gonna try these out and see how they look. First up, Bionic Zoom. Now the feature on this one is really all you have to do. If you wear glasses, you can turn this until they look right. And then here's the, uh, here's the focus, that's it. There's the strap, although the straps come off like twice when I'm walking around, so I don't think it's really that great. This bird preserve is right in the path of an airport, so I'm getting planes flying over in a few seconds. Great placement for trying to film here, huh? Here we go. It definitely seems like the outer edges of the, of the picture are kind of blurry and the center is in focus. It's pretty good. It's, I'm, not, I'm not sure if I'm blown away by it, but the quality is pretty good right in the center, but it does get blurry to the outside edges. So, you know, not bad. Let's try the Amazon one now. All right, now this one seems like it's, it's not as blurry to the edges. Although, if not mistaken, this was supposed to be 80X. This is supposed to be eight. They look identical to me. I don't think there's any difference whatsoever. Them to say this is 80X is definitely not accurate. Let me kind of go back and forth here, see what we got. Bionic Zoom looks pretty good. Edges are kind of blurry. Amazon. Amazon, I think the quality is a tiny bit better. They're pretty close. I want to say just, just going back and forth, the Amazon's a little bit better. But what I want to do next is go over there and there's supposedly you can film through these or take photos. The Amazon one came with a tripod and some accessories. I'm gonna hook those up to the camera and see how they look and I'll show you how these actually look and maybe we can uh, kind of come to some conclusion here. So let me head over there and uh, start filming through these and show you how it looks. For this test, I'm gonna try the Amazon versus the Bionic Zoom. I'm gonna take some pictures through my phone and we'll compare them versus just using the phone without one of these and see how they look. So let me get this one set up. Now what you're supposed to do here is get this lined up with the actual camera itself. So I want to make one small adjustment and, and the adjustment is so touchy. It's, it's really kind of a pain to adjust this thing. I'd be better off just, just grabbing my phone and filming that way. All right, we've got some ducks over there. I'm gonna film this for a minute. 
And now I think that's, that's a pretty, pretty good shot. Let me uh, switch over to the Bionic Zoom and see how that looks. Let's see if I can do that. It's so difficult to line it up. I'll try it again. There we go, okay, good. All right, we got ducks in focus. <laughs> oh, this is the worst. Any minor movement and it just, it just goes completely out. This is terrible. Terrible. All right, there we go. We got ducks. We have ducks again. We have ducks. Now let's just see how the phone camera does without being uh, attached to one of these zoom devices here. I'm just going to use the camera itself and zoom in. And how does that look? And once again, this is an old phone. This is a four-year-old phone. And guess what? I didn't have to struggle with it. This is absolutely horrific. This one doesn't even have a tripod. And I think my phone did at least as well as far as taking pictures goes. That doesn't mean it's not good to have to look at the birds without trying to film them. In fact, let's go do that right now. I'm going to go get, get a better vantage point and do some bird watching. Forget the filming part. Let me do the bird watching and see how that goes. All right, so I'm just kind of sitting here checking out uh, the, the ducks over here. I'm kind of going back and forth to see which one I like better. All right, so let me just try these out here a little bit better. Like the Bionic Zoom, it does seem like it's clear, but the edges are kind of blurry. So what's the top and the bottom? It's really just from the center out. I'll try the Amazon now. But once I get focused on the Amazon, it's definitely clear. The Amazon is much clearer. There's no blurry edges. So I think in that respect, it's actually a little bit better. Oh, that's kind of weird. The Amazon is definitely clear. There's the edges are better, so that to me is the difference. Bionic Zoom has blurry edges, Amazon does not. Let's head home and try a couple more tests before we wrap this thing up. Let's try another test here, shall we? Now that mountain back there is about a mile and a half away. Let's try training these on the same subject, compare them side by side, and see how they look. This is the Amazon. It looks pretty good. T take a look at the edges, make sure the edges aren't too blurry. And uh, we'll switch over to the uh, Bionic Zoom next. All right, here's the Bionic Zoom. Looks like the magnification is a little bit better. The edges maybe not as good. Picture clarity not quite as good, but it does zoom in a little bit more. And here's my iPhone, which maxes out, I believe, at 6x, so it's not quite as zoomed in, but you get a much fuller picture. So in the end, I would say both these are okay for what they are. If I had to choose, I would take the Amazon because the image is as clear. The Bionic Zoom has a bit of a fisheye effect and the edges are kind of blurry. Not to mention the Amazon has all those accessories, although I wouldn't use the one for your phone. I would just use my phone to film with rather than go through there. It's definitely not worth the hassle trying to get it lined up with that. For bird watching, it's pretty good. For filming, I would just use my phone. Even my old phone was about as good or better than filming through these. The reason I used an older phone instead of a newer one is because I think most people have older phones anyways. And I also wanted to show that even an old Old phone could kind of hang with the magnification on these. A lot of the newer phones would be even better than the one I used. But that's all I've got. If you've tried the Bionic Zoom or something like it, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time. As soon as I start recording, there's a plane flying over. That seems to be the standard for me. As soon as the record button's hit, a plane just appears overhead. I feel like enjoying nature with a distant sound of construction nearby. There's one right there too. Oh, did you hear that chirp? Right there. Whoa. They're talking.